Oh shit! Biker! Not good! Where are you going, biker? Okay, he's dead. What in the hell? Oh boy! Oh boy! That's not good! Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental. We play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have one hell of a fun time doing it. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do this next uh, quest that the trader gave us. Uh, it's back at that same um, small house that we did uh, several episodes ago. Uh, I kind of like that house, too. It's like a cute little star house there. Uh, with the dog in the backyard. The dog's not the cute part, though. <laughs> uh, so we're going to just go whip that out really quick and then uh, continue working these quests because I want to see uh, how and when we get to the point where Trader Jin is, Jin is going to send us on to the next trader. Um, off camera, I went and uh, did a little bit more. Well, actually, I went to the firehouse just across the road there uh, to get some food out of the vending machines, and I did a little bit more uh, looting of the stuff uh, that is in there that I didn't get and I found um, this recipe in the filing cabinet uh, next to one of the safes in there uh, so let's go ahead and learn that and now we want to start hanging on to chili as well as uh, salmon because we can make fish tacos now and now we'll be able to make chili dogs too um, so we need to find some corn actually and I, I know I've seen it around but I just didn't pay real close attention to it so we need to find some corn so we can because uh, we need corn for both of those things actually uh, so we'll be on the lookout for a cornfield for doing that stuff all right so I think we're pretty much ready to rock and roll here we've got all of our uh, weapons loaded um, I don't have an abundance of repair kits so I'm, I'm still not repairing the weapons until uh, you know they get really low we're, we're bringing our hunting rifle with us this time too so we can start using that you know for hunting and I'm gonna bring some pipe bombs with us too because those might uh, certainly come in handy we have pretty much a full stack of all the ammos we're just a couple shy on the on the nines there but uh, not a big deal at all so we still have 799 gunpowder too and uh, you know a little bit more ammo but I am definitely gonna have to hit some more lead and uh, you know soon and probably you know continue mining for the gunpowder too but we're good to go for now so let's head on out um did I did I take a skill point in something off camera I can't remember now I think I did I think I put the next skill point into strength uh, that I had so now when we level again then we're, then we're gonna do boomstick level 2 and then I'll probably um, pump both 69er and mother load up so we you know we can increase our mining and then probably skull crusher after that uh, so that's the the general plan for our points uh, at the moment we still have not found a doggone helmet light well we we kind of did find one <laughs> with that reward but I chose to take the the magazine instead uh, which I don't regret I think that was the right move, but uh, hopefully soon we'll come across a helmet light mod or a mining helmet or, you know, something that will work for that. Okay, guys, I will see you at the quest location. So I wonder if we're going to have the dog in the back again. Let's see. Yeah, he's there and here he comes. Yeah, we, <laughs> we've got to put some points in pistols soon. Um, but I'm going to stick, stick with my plans for the strength tree for the moment, though. Dogs are tougher, too. In fact, I, I believe the patch notes said that all animals have been buffed on their health and i i have found that to be to gen be generally true but yeah the dogs in particular man they are definitely tougher than they were all right so it looks like we got edgar's attention and ronald mcdonald's attention so let's deal with edgar first since he's the slightly bigger threat gonna try and get a shot off on him as soon as he breaks the block oh shit 
Oh man, Doc got it. He kept moving. That's hacks. What? Where'd you go? <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm not doing such a good job here, am I? Getting the shit kicked out of us. Ah, oh, okay. Let's take one of these. And I'm gonna just take this now to free up the slot. And I am not going to take either one of these with us. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. There we go. Big Mama. Ah, shit. I'm not timing my shots real, really good here. Oh, she was feral, Big Mama. You know, this is getting low enough to where we probably better repair it. Otherwise, I'm going to forget, and then it's going to break right in the middle of a fight. And we don't want that to happen. Oh my goodness, it's dark in here. Um, I don't have any torches on me either. All right. I'll try and remember to um, brighten this up in uh, when I'm editing later. I mean, it's so damn dark, I can't even hardly see. <laughs> Yeah, it is super dark, you guys. I mean, I kid you not, it's really hard for even me to see at this point. Did we loot this? Yeah, we did. Okay, let's make some noise. Seriously? How can that not wake anybody up? Last time we were in here, there was two zombies in the living room. All right, well, um, then let's let's go in. If we get rushed, we're gonna have to probably use the AK. Well, that's a that's just a corpse. All right, well, I guess uh, I guess there aren't any live ones. Well, you know, live dead ones in here. There's one right there. I wonder if we can squeeze off a... Uh... Oh shit! Biker! Not good! Where are you going, biker? Okay, he's dead. What in the hell? Oh boy, oh boy, that's not good. That is not good. That's like a running horde of like soldier zombies. I don't want to run away though because then we'll... Oh no, 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 I can't get up here. Oh, not good. Holy Moses, okay. I looked out the window and I saw like two, at least two soldier zombies and an infected zombie. I don't want to take those guys on head to head. Oh, well, maybe we're going to have to. son
Okay, somebody's still in there. Uh, let's pop one of these real quick. You know, it's too bad I didn't have my pipe bombs on my toolbar, because I could have... When, when they were all clustered down there, I could have blown them up. Oh, man, that was intense. That was intense. Okay, um... That was very cruel of the game to do that to me. <laughs> Super cruel. Okay, what do we got going on down here? Just you? Oh, shit. Yeah, those guys, those guys are armored, so they're pretty damn hard to kill. Okay, let's, um, let's just resume where we left off. And actually, here, we got a torch here. I can use that in the house when it gets really dark on us. Well, that was a knee-jerk reaction. That was a head-off reaction. Okay, well, it's lightened up in here now. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. It didn't take those guys long to get into the house, though, either. I turned around and I saw I saw army uh, soldier zombies, and that was all I needed to see to go, Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, we survived it. That's the important thing. Thank God for AKs, huh? We should start uh, taking these apart so we can get uh, the radiator from them for brass. Now that we are, are making uh, that sort of thing. Um, I think this just gives iron, right? Oh, no, that gives brass too. Nice. Okay, cool. And a candle. Somebody outside. Oh, come on, man. How in the hell did that miss? can't use that at this time oh because we're still on cooldown from the other one okay well let's eat one of these this might be a good time for us to to go drop off uh, at the mini bike anyway we already know that so we'll take that back uh, to the trader and sell it good more sewing kits Okay, decent stuff. Um, that we will sell. This we will scrap a doodle. All right. Likewise, this Ronald McDonald's going to give us a hassle, so we might as well kill him now. We got a pig there. Let's take this pig out and get the meat. I didn't want to unload on him because if you damage the corpse after you they die, uh, you lose some of the harvest from them, which makes sense, of course. Wow, we really shot up a bunch of our 762s. We only have 20 more rounds after, you know, what's in the magazine. Dang. Well, we had to do it, though. I mean... <laughs> there was no other choice. There was no other freaking choice. Okay, let's continue on here. All right, more lock, or not lock picks, um, thingamadoodles. Ooh, look at that. These, um, wait, don't these give us a running boost? Oh, man, did they, did they nerf those? I thought these are not a running boost. I thought these gave you a stamina boost. Oh, man, that sucks. All right, well, we'll sell them then. Sometimes, you know, sometimes when 
they nerf stuff, it makes sense. It needs to be nerfed, but then other times it's like, why the f did you do that? Well, I just destroyed that. Bullshit! I just destroyed that backpack. That wasn't very smart. Whew. And here I thought we were going to just waltz right into the ha this house and clear it without any resistance whatsoever. No, I didn't actually think that, but <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get as much resistance as we are getting. we get any brass from this? Probably not. Probably electrical parts, though. Okay, there was a sleeper down here last... Oh, yep, he just spawned in, just like he did last time. Come on, Nurse Nancy. Okay, let's take a pill. We'll take another mineral water. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, okay. We still have one more Zeker in that other room to do. I want that. I don't care about that. And we already came out this way. I think, isn't there um, a bag or something up on the roof here that we can get, if I remember right? I don't see anything in there, but I think there's something in here we can loot. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it sometimes spawns and sometimes doesn't. Okay. So we come around this way, we go into here, and it sounds like we have... There we go. That's the way we're supposed to do it. Oh shit! <laughs> I hate that guy. Oh man, I so hate that guy. Um, there's nothing to loot in here. There's a couple things I could wrench, but I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so there's going to be one more dude in here, I'm thinking. Wake up, little Susie. Return to the trader. Okay. My goodness, that was a much harder fight than I was expecting. Holy crap. Okay. Um, Let's check the nightstand. You know, I might actually keep the the black die. I'm not going to take it off right now because it'll take up another slot, but I might keep that for later. And uh, all right, let's look at the Lutskis. A little bit of honey. Okay, more ammo, and more ammo, and... Oh, nice, a rad remover. Okay, that's going to come in handy when we start seeing irradiateds, uh, which probably isn't going to be too far out from now. All right, guys, I'm going to just salvage a couple of things in the house, and then I will meet you back at the trader for the turn-in. All right. 
great. Let's see what we get here. Well, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> Here's your pay for a job well done. Oh, silencer mod schematic. That's nice. <laughs> I like it. It took me a really long time to find this thing in the, the Wasteland uh, survival series that we did. Um, this is They're giving us some pretty nice stuff. I mean, all of this is good, but I think this is by far uh, the thing we should take the most. Uh, so let's take that. And um, let's, uh, well, let's see what, okay, so we're still on tier one. My goodness, I, th I thought by now we would have done ten jobs. I mean, I haven't been counting them, so... Well, we got a close clear at only 307 me. uh, meters oh, this away. This is a dangerous one. Try not to um, get radiated. Good advice. All right. Now, let's take a look at your inventory. She has a new inventory for us, too, but let's first sell uh, some stuff here. That, eh, nah, I'm not going to try and repair that. Thank it is so worth repairing this because hey, it's only going to need cloth. Because right now it's worth 42. And now it's worth 120. So for sure. Okay, sell that to her. And I think we want to hang on to everything else that we currently have. All right, let's take a look at her inventory. Like a little volume two, I already know. She does have a mighty helmet, but there's no way on God's green irradiated earth that I'm going to pay that much money for that. So forget it. Uh, arrow rest, automatic weapons handbook, <coughs> do 10% more damage. Well, that would definitely help us with our our AK. Oh shit, moments. Um, let's keep that in. <coughs> excuse me, that's something in my throat. Uh, let's keep that in mind. Uh, she's got another double barrel shotgun, but we don't. I don't want to buy another one of those. Uh, we can make those anyways. Okay, what does she have for mods? Motor tool, no. Uh. Medicine. She has a first aid kit. We probably... Gosh, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Um, she still only has one painkiller? Jeez. That's expensive too, isn't it? But you know what? I have no bandages whatsoever. Does she have any aloe cream? No, because if she did, it would be in here. Uh, well, you know, what the hell? Let's just bite the bullet and buy those th two things. That's super expensive, though. All right, uh, what do we have here? Clothing. Nothing too terribly special. A nice blue double barrel shotgun, but a little bit out of our reach, I would think. She has a forged steel. We need forged steel for our um, auto shotgun, but I'm, I'm going to hold off until we get our shotgun skill up a little higher before we make that, so that way when we do make it, we have a good quality one. So, yeah, I guess that's about it, really. She doesn't have anything else we want right now. Unless we want to buy that, um, this. I have more, you know, uh, Dukes back at the at the base, so. Thanks for the right. business. Well, let's keep that in mind. We're open from dawn to dusk, since, you know, we don't have clocks. We don't have clocks. <laughs> all right, let's buy up all of the food. Um, also, by the way, I have I, I, I went ahead and bought some candies. I have them back at the base right at the moment, but I, I bought the one for for salvaging because I'm going to go do a big car wrenching uh, thing off camera. And I bought the one for mining and the one and I bought some atom junkies for for horde night. Uh, the next horde night when we use our pipe bombs. Um, so okay, cool. That takes care of that. Let's run over and check the two. The, the two um, vending machines in here. Sugar butts. Yeah, you know, I, I should probably start buying those uh, too before we do, you know, our vendor stuff. Uh, I, I just got to train myself to do it because, you know, I'm not, I'm not used to it. 100% lock picking success. Wow. 100%? Dang, man. All right. When we when we start getting some, some extra cash money, I'm going to start stocking up on those. Goodness. You know, the thing about that, too, is if you had enough of those, you would never have to take lock picking points. Ever. Wow. Okay. That seems a little OP, really, um, from the standpoint that it sort of kind of, uh, like I just mentioned, removes 
the incentive to do lock picking. I mean, why the hell would you? Hmm. Okay. Not sure how I feel about that. Rockbusters Mining Harvest. Yeah, I'm going to get another one of those. And we want chili and salmon first and foremost because we can make those dishes. But, man, we've got to find the... Uh, we've got to find some... Whatchamacallit? Uh, corn. That's what I'm trying to say. Corn. Okay, we don't have room for those two things. So I might come back and get those out later off camera. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this episode here. And um, so we have the next quest to do. And again, my plan is just to continue cranking out these quests so that we can get to the tier two quest. And it's got to it's got to happen pretty soon. I would you know, we've got to be very close to having done 10 quests by now. I mean, does it does? It, oh, OK, I guess we can. We can look here, huh? I completely forgot about this. So we get, we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so it looks like we need to do two more quests, this one and the next one, and then she will um, send us on to the next trader, and I'm assuming at that point it'll also change to Tier 2. I really like Tier 2. I like Tier 2 and Tier 3 the most um, for, you know, for the quests in the game, or at least I did, you know, in Alpha 18. Uh, because you get into a little bit better POIs, and you have the most variety of POIs. When you get into Tier 4, you kind of, you only have a few choices, and then Tier 5, uh, you know, you only have a few choices there, too. Plus, Tier 5 quests take a million years to do. Anyway, okay, guys, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.